Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pathfinder video. Doing the day 2.5 day 3 3 day 3.5 update of the bleed retaliation gladiator. A few changes have occurred. So I finally managed to get the Rislatas coil, which is uh probably the biggest upgrade I had to get. The biggest guaranteed upgrade before crafting gear to actually take the build to the next level was this one. It cost me like 10 divines with this roll. It's a, it's not a very good roll. And I'm actually going to do that, this right now. Okay. That wasn't bad. All right. So. Right now, I'm level 94. Managed to level up, I think, two or three levels since the last update. The tree looks very similar, except I decided I needed some form of spell suppression, even if it's not that much, to actually fight uh, bosses. So, I remove these points here alongside the mastery. And I remove the region nodes because uh, Jack the Axe provides more than enough region for me at the moment. And among among other things, um, I added this jewel slot to get the corrupted blood immunity. Very important to fight Cirrus. Get the endurance charges here. Get this axe mastery for the bleeding damage faster. To run in this very important and I have the increased duration of elements here instead now. Damage or time multiplier here. Effect of cruelty because cruelty is the last support I'm running and without this mastery it's impossible for you to ever get 40% cruelty effect against bosses and that's where it really matters because against trash you you always have 40%. And then what I did was do a this is kind of a not very efficient path at the moment. Or maybe. Because there's one point here. One point here. If I level uh, two times, I can get the whole wheel from uh, from the top side instead. What I wanted this wheel, I want to also get the lucky suppression. And I, I put this point in block sword blade. And I'll show you the differences very very noticeable the amount of time that you can keep the tincture up and again the tincture is a lot of damage make sure you quality the tincture and if you uh, you can probably buy one that that is higher quality like uh 28 or 22 30 quality and that will both increase the prefix value and the suffix value so as you can see that's 27 dot multi and it's 102 increased damage which i could roll a little bit higher as you can see i'm gonna activate it now it will start doing the instead of the mana burn this is basically a a negative region and you know every hit that you do you get a little bit more and more but at this point i think with the uh when i had it on mana the most i could have it was for like 12 to 14 stacks but with this, as long as we have some enemy bleeding uh, close to us, you can keep it. And then if you start digging in too much, you can use the life flask. In this case, I have this life flask, which has uh, additional recovery when on low life. I have recovery on blocks, so, you know, during mapping, I can have it for this much long, right? So, at this point, I'm digging in too much, and now I, I actually have to have to remove it but yeah you could basically keep the tincture effect for the whole map and during a boss fight you know to to be safe you keep it for you know the highest damage window that you can get you place the banner you put the tincture on and then you start spamming the eviscerate to get the most damage possible so uh that's the tree oh, yeah this is the same then uh, let's go through the gear. Um, I don't know if I was using this helmet before. 
I switched from the other one to this one. I got the mana reservation efficiency. I wasn't really looking for it. But because I I added this point to be able to run Malevolence. So right now I'm running Malevolence, Pride, uh, Thirst for Blood from the Jack the Axe, and Flesh and Stone for Defense. I ditch uh, Blood and Sand. Uh, and, uh, you know, Flesh and Stone is good for defense, but uh, you could probably run something, probably not Purity, because you don't want anything distracting the monsters from actually hitting you. Uh, Bloodstorm is now here with the Hex Touch because I wanted to keep vulnerability uh, much longer and uh, the Crushing Fist is now basically just for uh, calling strikes. And you know Fist of War because it looks nice. Here is uh, Lip Slam, the War Banner, faster attacks and just chance to bleed just so you can slam on monsters, make them bleed, they explode and you move on to the next pack without having to do too much. And here I'm using Expert Retaliation. I was watching uh, Gorath's video on what his setup is and uh, he's using this. I wanted to give it a try and yeah, it's quite nice. I would say having the extra cooldown recovery, uh, it, it can be fairly noticeable, especially if you're fighting uh, single targets. And the rest is the same, Brutality, Melee Fist, Volatility and uh, Cruelty. And the same thing here, Castle and Damage Taken, Molten Shell. Regarding the Atlas, I finished the watch, the Watchstones. Full disclosure, I didn't kill Maven or Uber Elder. I got carried by them. Uh, the fights are not really comfortable uh, on this character, I think. At least not at the level of Giramat. But Exarch and Eater, I did kill myself. Uh, these uh, favorite map slots are... Shaper, Elder, uh, all of them I did uh, myself. I haven't done the Feared. I did all of the Elder Slayer's invitations, which uh, a few of them will be... I'll probably do a separate separate video with just the invitation ones. But there's a few boss skills that will be at the end of this video. And the mapping you've already seen, and you've already seen probably other videos that have... Uh, the mapping set up with this character. I haven't done the hidden because I don't I'm not running anything about breaches. And the feared, I think it's a very uh I don't I don't I don't think it's possible with the level of, of gear I'm at. I will have to probably craft a very good axe, uh get a hundred percent suppression, max out on chaos res, get elemental element avoidance because right now I don't I just have like this 30% uh, like 20% there and this wheel here so getting ailment immunity will be a must for uh, certain fights getting uh, spell suppression on the gear so I will have to change I can I can get on on all of these pieces so it's I think it's achievable to get 100% on this character and then if you can remove this wheel you can put this into a cluster setup here or even here maybe probably Probably get rid of all of these points and put the cluster here, and that will be that will be the next thing I do probably if I keep playing this character. Anyway, that's all I have for today's video. I'll leave you with the boss kills, and uh, let me know your thoughts about this character. And uh, have a wonderful day. You force my hand again, little mouse. So be it. You've chosen to side with. Chaos. This is my world, and you shall obey my order. Failure, ambivalence, death. My spirit is spent. I can't. 
through this just yet. Behold the face of your unmaking. Father, it's me. Let me help you. The horror must be stopped. Obstacles destroyed. Can't do this just yet. Imperfect. He's recovering. We need to find a way back quickly. Memories are mine. I cannot lose them. My spirit they is They lie to you, Father. I'm your true memory. To save the future, the past must be sacrificed. A power Buy me some coffee.
this just yet. Did you really think this would work? Spirit, please, we want to help you. Don't do anything hasty. Destroying you is as easy as flicking a pet. No, Shut up! You're right. How boring and small. You want the Atlas? Take it. It's yours. But Aureus, Aureus, I will burn to the ground. Perhaps the suffering of my fellow citizens will finally stir something. finally caught my attention. I can't do this just yet. all this Can't do this just yet. Watch Yuki crumble.
hours is spent. Do this just yet. 